Now, one of the few areas of bipartisan agreement right now in Washington seems to be that Congress should investigate Russia's role in hacking the DNC and Clinton campaign chairman and what its goal was. Early today, Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell joined a bipartisan group calling for an official inquiry. That's a move President-elect Donald Trump seems unlikely to support. Arizona Republican Senator John McCain is calling for a Senate investigation. He joins me now. Senator, as always, thanks for joining us. Thank you, Jake. So President-elect Trump's response to the intelligence community's assessment that Russia interfered in U.S. elections has been to attack the U.S. intelligence community. What, what do you make of that? Well, I think that it deserves uh, examination. I don't think there's any doubt that the Russians hacked into uh, the campaigns, uh, probably of both, although it's not evident yet that it was the Republicans as well, although I would think so. They hacked into my campaign back in 2008. Uh, but I think the key to this is to try to find out what the Russians' intentions were. Were they intending to change the re uh, outcome of our election? If so, it's very serious. A pillar of our democracy is free and fair elections. You're launching a bipartisan congressional probe to try to find out the facts. Are you worried at all that President-elect Trump will, will try to undermine it? No. Uh, we, we're co-equal branches of government. Uh, what we need to do is coordinate between, and we will, between foreign relations, Senator Corker and Senator Cardin, and uh, intelligence, uh, Senator Burr, Senator Jack Reed and myself, and we will investigate all of these aspects. But the most important thing, Jake, is to recognize, and we will have a, uh, a special, a additional subcommittee on cyber that I, my friend Lindsey Graham, I'm hoping, will be the lead on, but we have to look at the whole issue of cyber, the attacks, the capabilities, the uh, what they've done as far as an industrial espionage and military capabilities that they have been able to crack into. Uh, the whole challenge of cyber, according to our military leaders, is the biggest challenge that we don't have any advantage over any potential adversary. The reason I ask about whether or not he would try to undermine your conclusions is because, well, take a look, to, take a look at what Donald Trump said this morning about reports about the Russia hack. He tweeted, quote, uh, unless you catch hackers in the act, it is very hard to determine who was doing the hacking. Why wasn't this brought up before the election? Now, as you know, Senator, neither of those statements is true. Cyber experts say hackers don't need to be caught in the act to be identified. And... This issue was brought up before the election over and over, including at a presidential debate. So I guess I'm wondering, are you concerned at all that you, you will be launching a fact-finding mission on this issue and the president-elect on this issue is rather disregarding of facts? Well, uh, as I mentioned before, we are co-equal branches of government. I want to work with this president in every way possible, including repairing the incredible damage that uh, Barack Obama has done to our capabilities, including the fact that there is no, from this administration, there is no strategy and there is no policy as to counter these cyber attacks, nor will there be one. And by the way, an investigation of a month isn't going to, to, to do much. So I look forward to working with the president and I will do everything I can to assist him. But the fact is, we will have this investigation, and the results of the investigation, I believe, will be credible, especially the fact that the people who are involved in it, and it will be bipartisan. It will be us working with Democrats and Republicans, not trying to gain political advantage. Well, you talk about moving forward uh, and there being, there needing to be a policy for, for cyber attacks. What do you think the consequences should be for Russia if your review or the other review that President Obama ordered shows that they definitively did try to influence the election? Well, I think it, uh, some of the other aspects are equally dangerous, frankly, their ability to impair uh, facilities. Uh, there's even scenarios where they could shut down satellites in space. Um, it depends on the attack. It depends on the severity of it. It's just like anything in, else in warfare. You can have exchange of, of gunfire, and that's one example of, of warfare. And then you can have exchange of bomb all-out war. So uh, cyber attacks, when you destroy 
the, uh, or impact the ability of a nation to function, that is an act of war. But it doesn't mean World War III. It means that there should be proportionate responses and development of capabilities to see that it doesn't happen again. This administration has no policy and no strategy. I mean, what I mean is, there's no policy is what we do when we see an attack coming. There's no policy on how to respond. There's no policy on any aspect of it, and we need that very badly, obviously. Uh, ExxonMobil CEO Rex Tillerson uh, has called himself a friend of Vladimir Putin. We know he is Trump's top choice for tech Secretary of State. Um, what do you think some of your colleagues who are hawks uh, on the Russia issue uh, have expressed serious concerns about picking uh, Tillerson given his close relationship with Putin? I am concerned as well, but I also believe the president deserves his nominees to get a fair hearing, and I will make no judgment until the hearing takes place and the questions are answered and we go through the process. But anybody who is a friend of Vladimir Putin must disregard the fact that Vladimir Putin is a murderer, a thug, a KGB agent, whose uh, airplanes, as we uh, speak, have been targeting with precision weapon, hos weapons, hospitals in Aleppo, who have committed atrocities uh, throughout the region and uh, has destabilized Ukraine, has, uh, has invaded Ukraine, destabilizing, trying to destabilize Baltic countries, and the list goes on and on. This guy is a thug and a murderer, and I don't see how anybody could be a friend of this old-time KGB agent. Uh, let me turn to China, if I could, Senator. CNN has learned that this month, for the first time, China flew nuclear-capable bombers over a disputed area in the South China Sea. Many China experts are interpreting this as a warning to Donald Trump, given some of the things he has said, uh, including uh, suggesting that there doesn't necessarily need to be a one-China policy. Um, what's your take on this? My take is that, again, uh, the Obama administration has had no response to illegal acts on the part of the Chinese filling in those islands uh, by uh, uh, violating the commitment that they made uh, to democracy in Hong Kong when it was turned over by the British. Uh, by continuing to prop up the North Korean government, which is now developing weapons, which over time could strike the United States of America with an ICBM. And so uh, we need to have a policy towards China, and we need to have them understand that there we expect them to obey the international rules of international law and behavior. I do not foresee conflict between the United States and China. No, because I believe that peace through strength, such as we exercised in the past, will be a sufficient deterrent to China. But the, their, their behavior has been in gross violation of international law. And by the way, they've been also very uh, uh, active in cyber attacks as well. Do you have any concern at all, Senator, about uh, the phone call? that President-elect Tr uh, Trump took from the president of Taiwan about some of the things he has said on Twitter and elsewhere uh, about um, changing U.S. policy towards China? Or do you think that is it is a healthy shakeup uh, of U.S. Uh, posture towards that country? I think it's healthy. When you look again at the Chinese behavior that I just chronicled, uh, they're an independent uh, nation. And uh, Taiwan, and I believe in the one China policy, but they are a democracy, which China is not. And uh, I believe that a conversation with the, with the president of a freely elected democratic uh, Taiwan is uh, more than appropriate. All right, Senator John McCain, Republican of Arizona, thank you so much for your time as always, sir. Thank you, Jay.